Hi guys, I'm Joshua Parvin with Cornerstone Gundog Academy and this is your Retriever training tip of the episode. Today we want to talk about crate training. You may have heard that one ounce of prevention is better than one pound of cure. and That's absolutely the case as far as crate training goes. We have a few key things we like to focus on to make the crate training process go a lot smoother. The first thing we want to focus on is the right size crate. Having the right size crate is imperative to allowing your puppy to learn as quickly as possible. If your crate is too large, the puppy can go to one corner and soil it and then go back to the other corner and then go to sleep. If the crate is too small, your puppy's not gonna be able to move around a lot and it's gonna be extremely uncomfortable. The next thing we wanna talk about is having a nice quiet room for your puppy. And as far as picking the quiet room, I like to pick a room where it's out of a high traffic area where there's not gonna be a lot of noise or cooking or people talking because if it is in a high traffic area, it's gonna cause the puppy to wake up in the middle of the nap and that could cause the puppy to soil its crate. One thing you can do to aid in this process and going easier is having some nice soothing music to allow your puppy to go to sleep better. The last thing we wanna talk about is anticipation. That actually builds off of the first two points. If you can anticipate when your puppy has to go potty, you can prevent it from having an accident in your crate. Now when you're first starting out, you may only be able to make it an hour with your puppy, but as time goes on and your puppy matures, you'll be able to go a lot longer, up to multiple hours at a time. 